the Lena streaming network DAC utilizes our fame technology known as the Ring DAC. Mm -hmm. And the Ring DAC is very unique to DCS. We've been honing this and refining this technology over, gosh, three decades or more now. Um, and it's, it's innovative in the sense that it's neither based on any sort of chip, um, nor, nor is it, nor is it based on, uh, is it a ladder DAC of any sort? So the Ring DAC was a technology that derived actually from our applications back in aerospace and doing radar technology um, for military applications as well as as well as broadcast um, and recording equipment. And um, it's 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 a it's an outstanding achievement in terms of digital to analog converter technology. Um, but it's difficult to make work. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of math involved in being able to and being able to execute on this design and so there's a lot of worlds first that we that we you know kind of be able to hang our hat on so to speak over the years things such as the world's first 24-bit DAC um, world's first FPGA driven DAC uh, you know the DSD technology that allowed us to be able to um, that, that, that we pioneered along with Sony and Philips yeah. a lot of worlds first but but the Lena the Lena is also really representative of a lot of innovation in the sense that we took what was otherwise a rather very large board mm -hmm. and being able to put it into a compact elegant design yeah. that was really challenging really challenging um so in fact actually i'll maybe change it. yeah yeah let's check it out it is extremely it, it is extremely compact and uh, you know for for the people viewing up front it looks as if it's maybe one product there it's not half of that is the deck and he said the half is the clock yeah exactly so so the master word clock that that technology is something that is ubiquitous to us as digital to analog converter technology back during our days when we were doing equipment for studios broadcasting houses and so forth you talk to any good studio um, mastering engineer they'll tell you the the importance of having a master yeah. word clock yeah. and but but it's it was relatively new in the consumer market up until more recently uh, but that technology working in tandem with our digital to analog converter technology mm -hmm. allows us to be able to achieve something really special and yeah. really remarkable yeah. but um so oftentimes manufacturers are a little bit shy about showing you what's under the hood mm -hmm. um and here this is actually the internals of the lena network streaming DAC that you're hearing. And, uh, and as you can see, I mean, there's a lot going on inside of here. And in fact, actually, the bottom of this unit is actually right over here. That's our, our custom Terodial power supply um, that loads into the bottom. But some really interesting things that, that I can point to with regards to this. Um, not only is the execution of, of build quality really, really impressive, um, all of the, uh, the, the custom metal pieces and so forth, but also, the internals, let me take this out here for a second. So what you're looking at here, um, you'll notice, this is the ring DAC itself, okay? But then you'll notice something that, that is kind of interesting, drawing your attention to what looks like, see these almost look like orange connectors? Yeah. Those are not ribbon connectors. It's actually a flex rigid PCB. Okay. It's first, first implementation of its kind in the high end industry. This is technology that, that was utilized in the medical and the aerospace industry. What it allows us to do is take one continuous seamless PCB and be able to fold it. So these are actually unbroken copper tracings of the of the 12 layer PCB board that you're looking at here. Okay, that's ideal story. Mm -hmm, exactly. So so this is not five distinct um, uh, circuit boards, but rather one continuous circuit board. Now the reason why that was so important to us is that when you introduce ribbon connectors those are subject to degradation of the yeah. signal, okay. the signal path. You don't want to do that. Yeah. And yet to be able to fit this inside of an enclosure this size required that innovation. But it allowed us not only to, to you know, benefit from the performance of substantiation here, but also the, the streamlining of the, of the manufacturing and production process. Yeah. So you know, we can have our cake and eat it too. We can bring the performance of the ring DAC into an elegant enclosure, take advantage of, of manufacturing streamlining and, and, and achieve a price point that's, you know, well south of 15,000 pounds uh, or 15,000 euros, excuse me. This is super cool. But, you know, even the enclosure itself, you know, 
This is, this is, this is actually one solid billet aluminum, okay? It takes a five axis machine to be able to accomplish this, but it forms a true Faraday cage for, for, the, for obviously the sensitive electronics inside. We can take advantage of the mechanical inert qualities um, from acoustics, as well as, as well as you know, um, you know, eliminating the uh, the interferences that would be associated with RFI and EMI. But it's a thousand little things that we're paying attention to to be able yeah. to give you this performance yeah. that's state of the art. Amazing. Well, I think we're gonna sit down and have a listen for a few minutes uh, now that we know what's inside. Absolutely, please. Yeah. Two, three. Thanks so much for uh, showing us. My pleasure.